How's it going guys, Romeo here and today I'm going to be reviewing the iPhone 6 Plus versus the iPhone 6. Quick disclaimer, I want to let you know that I used these two phones the same amount of time. So I used the iPhone 6 first, I used it for about uh, a week and then I used the iPhone 6 Plus after that for another week. And then I used both devices at the same time for another week. So let's go ahead and talk about the little brother here, the iPhone 6. With all my reviews, I always talk about the good things first. And then after that, I always talk about you know what I didn't like about the phone. What I like about the iPhone 6 is, you know, coming from an iPhone 5S or even an iPhone 4 or 4S, it's not going to be a huge difference. I mean, it is a bigger phone. It's a 4.7 inch screen, but it's not going to be a huge difference you know, compared to if you went to an iPhone 6 Plus. Now, I do like that this phone is way faster than before. If you're coming from an iPhone 5S or even an iPhone 4 or 4S, you're going to appreciate the difference. Uh, now, I do want to let you know that the same, same specs that you get on this phone, you'll see on the iPhone 6 Plus. Now, the cool thing about this phone and what I really like about it is that when you open apps that are not supported, uh, you know for the iPhone 6 or 6 plus like the uh, eBay app it's not gonna look you know it's not gonna be a huge difference compared to if you open it like on the iPhone 6 plus the app looks really comic looks really blown up uh, because it's not compatible with the phone so I'll show you that when I go get the iPhone 6 plus another awesome thing that I like about this phone compared to the iPhone 6 plus is that it's really easy to reach the notification center like especially if you use that a lot uh, instead of using reachability on your iPhone 6 Plus, all you have to do is, you know, with your thumb, you can go ahead and reach all the way up and then get the uh, notification center, which is really nice. So reachability, you don't have to move your hand or anything like that. You can just, from the top, you can, you know, scroll down. You can reach anywhere on the screen by just holding it with four fingers and then you're, you know, just moving your thumb anywhere. As you can see from up here, I can go down here and then place my thumb there so I don't have to do a lot of movement. It's really cool. I'm not going to talk about, you know, specifications. They both have the same specs. I'm just going to talk about the its special features like, you know, if you do sideways on the iPhone 6 Plus, you can see that you can do the landscape just like the iPad. So this phone is in between having an iPhone and an iPad, uh, iPad mini, of course. Now. The nice thing about this phone, like I was mentioning before, it's a it's a uh, it's a phablet, so it's another category, and it works great. We are looking at a 1080p screen compared to a 720p on the iPhone 6, and what I like about it is, you know, you saw it there the reachability, so you can double tap on the home screen and you'll bring the screen down. Um, everything is really fast, just like the iPhone 6. Another special feature is when you go into the camera app, um, it actually, the only way you can tell is when you go into video. Now you got the optical image stabilization on the iPhone 6 Plus versus on the iPhone 6 you get a digital image stabilization. Uh, that means that you know the actual optical on this phone is going to move to stabilize the image instead of you know your uh, software stabilizing the image for you uh, like on the iPhone 6. Now I don't know if you've noticed but I have a Bluetooth uh, connected and uh, one of the awesome things about this phone is the battery life. This phone literally gave me about a day and a half, two days and I was doing normal things like playing games, um, you know, just on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, doing the usual things, the average usage versus on the iPhone 6, you know, I was only getting about a day. Uh, close to you know at the end of the day I had like 5% something like that so definitely the battery life is way better on the iPhone 6 Plus now let me go ahead and open the same game on both devices and I'm gonna kind of show you like and compare next to each other the same game and I'm gonna show you all the you know how the graphics look and everything so I'm gonna do my best to put them in the same frame so let me try that real quick let me go ahead and start with the iPhone 6 Plus. So I'm gonna go ahead and start playing with the 6 Plus, and I'm gonna. This is the. Uh, it's a racing game, uh, you know. And then you can see here that on the iPhone 6 Plus, you can see more real state. It's uh, you know the same operating system, the same processor, and everything. I'm playing the same game. Now here's the uh, comparison with the iPhone 6. 
Now you can see it's a little bit smaller. You don't see a lot of the pixels. It's a 720p screen compared to a 1080p screen on the iPhone 6 Plus. So that's a huge advantage on the iPhone 6 Plus. So with the iPhone 6, the battery life is going to be average. You can see there right now that it, my battery is dying. The, my battery dies usually like a, a before the day ends. You know, it's about, I still have like 10% left. Um, that's pretty much, you know, the disadvantage on this phone. Now you, there's ways to like save your battery life if you play with the settings, but still about, you know, close to like a full day where on the iPhone 6 Plus, you get a full day or even a day and a half. Winner for this round will be the iPhone 6 Plus. Now this is the device that I picked over the iPhone 6 uh, because of all the things, you know, like the battery life and the screen size. I am a huge media consumer and, you know, with the iPhone 6 Plus, you're looking to uh, consume a lot of media, like, you know, taking pictures, watching videos. The only downside is that whenever you open like apps like that are not supported, like eBay, you can see that the apps are just gonna look all blown up, all, you know, pretty big. You can see the status bar, bar that, you know, shows that it's not even updated. And that's the only downside that I see at this moment, but everything else is great on these on the iPhone 6 Plus. Definitely I'm not saying that the iPhone 6 is a bad phone. It is a great phone and coming from an iPhone 5S or even an, an iPhone 4S, you might want to look to go for an iPhone 6. Uh, for me personally, because I do consume a lot of media, that's why I'm going for the 6 Plus and I might be returning the iPhone 6. To have the same specs, everything on the iPhone 6 Plus and the 6 is exactly the same. The only three difference is the battery life, the iPhone 6 Plus is going to be better, the optical image stabilization on the iPhone 6 Plus, and also the landscape mode. The advantage on the iPhone 6 is easier to hold in your hand. A lot of apps are updated for the iPhone 6, but they're not updated for the iPhone 6 Plus. And you know, if you uh, if you are coming from an iPhone 4S or an iPhone 4, and you want to get you know a big phone, the iPhone 6 I believe is going to be big enough rather than going for a 5.5 inch screen like the iPhone 6 Plus. All right, guys, that's my time, and I hope this helped you a little bit. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below, and also subscribe. Peace.